We're going to Bed Bath & Beyond because I want things there and I figured I'd take you along for no particular reason at all. Huh? Oh, you take them along? I thought you meant me. Yeah, no, I'm gonna leave you in the car. <laughs> no, like, no, no. <laughs> hey, Lauren. What? You wanna get an indoor electric turkey fryer? For all those turkeys that I eat? It is just for frying turkeys. Nothing else. You cannot fry anything you else. Can't turkey? I mean, it's chicken? just a turkey fryer. Oh, okay. No, it's a turkey fryer, Lauren. Don't you read the label? Okay. You're you're one of these people that never reads the label. Worst. We need to talk about your label reading problem. What do I? How do you I, bought a York peppermint patty and you didn't know what it was, and then you ate it, and you're like, oh no, there's peppermint in it. That's not true. That it never happened. It happened. That never happened. Ah. Uh, those are those accusations are wrong. My opponents are trying to slander me in a plink of an eye. <laughs> corky cup. Corky cup. It's called corky cup. Coated with real eco-friendly cork, but otherwise totally harmful for the environment. How are you gonna clean that? I mean, it, it, it seems rather odd to just like put something environment friendly around it. It's I don't know. It's just. How do you wash it if it's covered in cork? You don't. You don't, Lauren. You you don't wash it. That's not eco-friendly. Washing isn't eco-friendly. You gotta stop washing things. What Let's the? Let's use water. They're electric soap dispensers. Touch-free soap Hooray. dispensers. They're not. They're not dispensing soap so on. You don't have to waste all that energy touching. Or make it grimy. Yeah. I don't know why I'm filming this, but you're just going to have to deal with that. This is your life now. It, it is. Ooh. 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 A strawberry straw remover, a strawberry stem remover. Yeah. I think I want to something. That's not what I wanted to buy though. What are you doing in there? Silly camera. Very cute. Okay, wait a minute. One minute. What is that? Is it an owl? It's an owl. Yes, it is. Very cute. You like this box accessory? Oh, the box accessory. Yeah, that's good. I don't know why it comes with the box. By the way, this is what we got for the dogs. We didn't get it yet. We just picked it up. We will get it for the dogs. We have the intention of buying it. What I have here, I got a box from GOG.com. I don't know why they sent me a box, but I'm curious. It got a wang in a box. It's a wang in a box? I have no idea what it could be. It's probably some sort of ad. Oh, sunglasses. Actual sunglasses with UV protection. Okay. He Hello Kitty um, chopsticks. Okay, and oh, what's that? That's Shadow Warrior 2. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you, th thank you, good old games. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh.
Oh no, where did it go? Okay, st it's still there. Yeah, I, I, I now look like a badass. I do really appreciate the sunglasses because I needed a new pair. So thank you very much. Um, we got a new toy, we got a new toy. We got a die cutter because we, 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 we do these things and we can now cut things. And this thing is really nice because you can scut, scan in anything you draw, like, you know, this Wheatley or this penis over there. This is the first thing we made. It's... We got a die cutter and we just went ahead and... Of course, we're adults. And then we made, and we made a bird. <laughs> Yay! So I did move the two little fish we had, the surprise fish from the big tank, into uh, my smaller shrimp tank. And right near these shrimp feeding time, I just threw one single algae wafer in there. And it's it's pretty crazy in there right now. And yeah, the two fish are swimming around. Maybe you can spot them. There's one in the middle right now. And the other one is down there. So they're, you know, hanging out eating the little sea shrimp on the glass. I don't know, you can probably not see them. But they're all over the glass. They're little uh, sea shrimp. Wish I could show you them. But yeah, they're normal. They're not bad, but there's a lot of them in there. So I figured, yeah, let's put the two fish in here. Easier to keep an eye on them. And also they can eat the sea shrimp. Yeah, you can, you can make out maybe some little dots here and there. But yes. <laughs> Who's a happy pup? This is the, the, the happy dog rule. The, the longer the tongue is sticking out, the happier the dog. Unless the dog is dead. Uh, yeah. Or he's eating Are you eating pine needles, Mark? He's oh. trying to eat grass. <laughs> there he goes. I'd give that a good, that's a good... Uh, Nine out of 10. Would <laughs> run again. Nine out of 10 on, on tongue length. Yes. Oh. We should take him inside to get him some water soon. He's pretty tired. Lauren hasn't slept in like probably over 24 hours at this point. And um, you got anything to say for yourself? Why throw out the side of the styrofoam? I mean, you can. Yes. Shut up! Shut up! When you can be hat buddies. <laughs> Man, this, this this vlog is like all over the place, and now there's a moth. Yes, there is. It's a female Luna. These guys were supposed to overwinter, but they started emerging. So that's kind of a bummer because I won't be able to breed them because I won't have any leaves to feed them with. That's my first female too. My first female Luna. And she's tiny, but she's pretty. Look at this moth face. Oh, yes. Aww. All the little hairs. It's a little tricky to see, but yeah. You guys get an idea. That's what they look like when they're newly emerged. They, wow. they inflate their wings. Because, uh, let me see if I can find a pupa here. Um, that, see, if you look on the pupa, you can see the outline of the wings there. You can see how tiny the wings are. They, uh, they have to inflate them. So those wings aren't screwed up. Those are just how the wings are. Cause I, I just caught her coming out of the cocoon. I helped her out of it. I heard some scritching around over here and came over to find her crawling out. What the fuck are you doing? I'm filming the bird who's doing its weird head bobby motion. I have no idea what it is. So I want to know what he's doing. Pretty weird behavior. It's Mr. Me, man. Mr. Me, he's back. You know you're gonna be pixelated. You're Mystery Man. Your voice and your face gets pixelated. Who is, who is the real mystery? <laughs> Whose face is not the only thing? Whose face is really gonna get pixelated? Here, oh, oh, I we got a new inhabitant for the big one. With a 29 gallon one king beta. And not yep. actually a king beta. Well no, not a king beta, but he's he's the king of the tank now. He's a butterfly half moon. Oh no. Yeah, he's gonna harass the shrimp. Oh of course. Why wouldn't he? He's going to keep that shrimp population in check. Yep. 
I got myself a beta too um, after I couldn't cure grapefruit after several weeks of intense treatment. Um, and yeah, he's going to go with the Danios in the big 20 gallon that I'm gonna set up. And he is already super gorgeous. Well, he finally figured out that he can come out out of the Wisteria jungle. <laughs> and he has a lot to explore. Oh, he's looking at a little shrimp. Oh no. Oh, and he got him. Did he? I think so. It looked like it moved away. Those little shrimp are fast. Since it's November, I actually am participating in the NaNoWriMo, the National uh, Novel Writing Month. And yeah, basically every free minute that I get, I'm going to try to spend on my novel um, that I'm just trying to rush down to 3,000 words in one month is the goal. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to balance all of these things together to run the Weasel Zone, to do things on Lazy Weasel like I'm doing right now, and of course to write and whatever else work is coming up. Yeah. You're you're my writing buddy, aren't you? Yes. You played a chunk out of Lauren's neck. He did. He, he's he been uh, pretty aggressive here and there. I don't know why. He has his nice moments, but sometimes he's just uh, being oddly angry. Oddly angry. Anyways, just in case you're wondering why there's not so many updates as per usual, it's just because I'm busy. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know. And yeah, it's not too late. You can still join in. You have to write a little bit faster. <laughs> but yeah, the National uh, Novel Writing Month. Uh, link to that is in the description below. Anyway, as per usual, thanks for watching.